Hey, Chris here with another video in the Borst tutorial series. In this video, we'll be looking at scaling out Nginx. Um, not because it's particularly interesting, but it's a nice way of showing how easy you can scale out deployments using Bosch and how easy it is to add more things onto the deployment later on, which we'll get to in a minute. Let's first scale out the Nginx deployment we already have. We'll just add some more instances and run a new deployment. So let's switch over to the manifest we already created a while ago. And as you might remember, we created an instance group called Nginx and we told it to deploy one instance of Nginx server. So now we want to increase the number of instances. So the only thing we have to do now is just change this number and I'll change it to two. And I'll save this file and we'll go over to our console here and we'll run the Borsh deploy command again on the nginx deployment. nginx to jaml and it shows us it's going to replace the line instances 1 with the line instances 2. There we go. And of course it's going to create a new VM and then after that install software on that new VM. Um, so we'll wait for that and your waiting will be a little less long than my waiting thanks to video editing. All right, and done. It's quick, right? So as you can see, this took a little over a minute, just under one and a half minutes. So it's pretty quick for scaling out the deployment. Um, I know some very expensive enterprise tooling that takes way longer uh, scaling out the deployment. So for open source software, pretty good if you ask me. Um, so let's see what um, Bosch did for us. Let's look at the VMs that are currently deployed. And let me scroll it up a bit for you so you can actually see that. Uh, so now we have two running VMs. So one is at IP address 201. So let's copy that. And the other is at 202. So let's switch to the browser, open a new tab, paste it in there. And there it is, Nginx running. And number two, and there's Nginx running as well. So that's nice. Now we have two Nginx machines and the only thing we did was edit this file, change the one to a two and done. And if we want to have more than two, if we want to have three, I just change the three, one have five, change the five, it's that easy. Um, just change the number, redeploy it and it will scale it out. If you want to scale it back, just change it back to one and it will delete all the, uh, the VMs it no longer needs. So I'll keep it at two, save this file. Um, as you might notice, I just have two separate IPs now. So it's IP1 and IP2, and it's not really one, one website. It's not load balanced. So I really want to add a load balancer to this. So if you're running on Amazon, you can probably use an elastic load balancer. Um, we're on vSphere. I don't have any NSX running. Um, so we need to figure out some other way of load balancing this. So a very common way to load balance Nginx machines is using HAProxy. So can we add an HA proxy to this deployment? Well, yes, of course we can. Um, let's head over to Borsa.io and let's see if there's an HA proxy release. So we'll go to releases and I'll just do a control F and search for HA proxy. And there it is, HA proxy Borsa release. So let's open this. And here it tells us what we have to do to add this to our deployment. So if we use this, uh, this first bit of text right here, um, we don't have to download the release ourselves. We don't have to upload it manually. We just can put it in the, in the manifest. And because it has the full URL and the hash and the version number, it, the, the Bosch director itself will go ahead and download the, the release for us. So that's really nice. So let's copy this, go over to our manifest. And now we have to add this under the releases part of our manifest. So let's Paste that in there, just like that. And now we need some kind of example manifest to show us how we can deploy an HA proxy machine. So let's go over to their uh, GitHub page. And let's take a look at their manifest. There it is, haproxy.yaml, just one, nice and easy. And it shows a very simple manifest file. So what we want 
is one HA proxy that load balances to two Nginx machines. So we need an instance group with an HA proxy in it. So that's what is right here. And I'll leave out the properties for now. I'll explain why in a minute. So let's copy this and add the instance group. Put it dash in front of there, like that. All right, now we need to rename the AZ that they use because we only have AZ1, not Z1, so AZ1. Um, VM type default, that's okay, we have that. Then stem cell, uh, we created the stem cell alias right here. And we call it Ubuntu not default. So we need to use Ubuntu here, uh, oh, right there. And then for the network name, we are using the LabNet network. And then the job running on this machine is an HA proxy job. And that's basically it. If you now switch back quickly to the example manifest, you'll see it also specifies um, some properties like a backend port and backend servers. So you can configure HA proxy uh, with a list of backend servers and the port it needs to connect on. So we could populate this with the IP addresses of our Nginx machines, but Bosch has a nice trick up its sleeve. Um, Bosch is able to expose links and consume links. So our Nginx release exposes an HTTP router link. So this tells Bosch where the HTTP router is. It tells it's the port number and the IP address. And then the HA proxy, on the other hand, consumes an HTTP router link. So without configuring anything, both links will be well, linked because one release is providing a link and the other release is consuming a link and both links have a certain type. And as long as the type match, the uh, Bosch director will link the types together. So the Nginx machines are offering IP address and port number and HA proxy is consuming IP addresses and port numbers. And Bosch will link that together and magic happens. Load balancing will happen in the end. So let's save this file and then run the deployment again. Start with a fresh screen and then rerun the deployment. And as you can see, it's going to add a release. It's going to add instance groups or one instance group. So let's do this and let's wait for this. All right, and we're done. So let's take a look at what Bosch did for us. See the list of VMs. All right, so it added a new VM with a new instance group called HA proxy, and it has one VM in it. And it this is the IP of that particular VM. So let's copy this IP address, create a new tab, paste it in there, and magic happened. Um, so it's load balancing to our Nginx machines without ever telling HA proxy specifically which IP addresses we needed to use. Bosch did all that for us. So we're just adding the release to our deployment and then specifying a new instance group with just the job configuration, no properties whatsoever. Um, Bosch will pick up the links, it will do its magic and HA proxy will be deployed and automatically start load balancing to the Nginx machines in our deployment, which is really cool. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or find me on Twitter. If you like this video, click like. Please consider subscribing to this channel so you get notifications of new content. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.